Hey everybody, I'm Deborah Richmond. The quilt behind me is a gift that I'm going to be giving to a friend of mine who's getting married this summer. Now, I've been working on this gift, for this pattern, for a very long time because um, when, they, uh, when the couple got engaged, I knew right away I wanted to make a quilt. And so I got started right away because I wanted to make sure it was done by the time of the wedding. Had no problem, got it done fast, um, was all finished, quilted it, was real excited about it then gave it the light washing that I always give it after I quilt a quilt because you need to get the um, markings out and lo and behold a couple of the fabrics ran and yes they were the red fabrics now so I have a couple things that I want to tell you about because um, the story has a very good ending there were red fabrics in here there are red fabrics in here that ran I know that I washed those fabrics beforehand so the first cautionary uh, tale the first the first um, moral of this story is that you really need to wash your red fabrics. Now some quilters will wash all of their fabrics before they sew with them. Um, I don't usually do that. Um, however, the longer I quilt, the closer I am to getting to that. So I do, if I have a piece of fabric that I feel like maybe it's going to run, I'm going to wash that before I use it. Even still, even doing that, I washed the red fabrics and I still had a couple of pieces that bled really badly. So when I pulled this out of the washing machine, it looked ruined. It had pink in it, and there actually was a blue piece that ran as well, so it had some blue in it. It was a nightmare. I usually don't have this happen uh, when I'm doing a quilt. Um, so I right away washed it again, and this time I used what they call color catchers. And I have to tell you that I am a an absolute believer in these color catchers. Now, let me. This is what the box comes. But let me just explain what this is. If you're not familiar with this, this looks like a dryer sheet. But what it is is it. It comes white in the boxes. Um, but when you put it in the wash machine with your um, load of laundry, and in this case it was my quilt, any fabric dye that is running in the water, this fabric catcher will catch. Now you can see the color is kind of a gray, uh, and that is because it pulled a lot of color um, from the water and into this piece. Now, how does it work? I don't really know, um, and I don't really care. All I care is that it worked. Now, I will tell you that I washed this quilt with these color catchers about seven or eight times because it really was that bad. I really thought I was going to have to make a whole new quilt and was just thanking my lucky stars that I had finished this one soon enough I would probably have had time to make another one. Didn't want to do that. Uh, I wanted to give this one. Uh, so first time I washed it the color catcher worked but there was still some pink in it. The second time, the third time, by the eighth time of washing it each time throwing in another color catcher finally the colors are all gone so that now I have just the beautiful quilt the way I intended it to look with no running colors. I also now do know now because I've washed it so many times that when this couple when they receive this quilt and they go to wash it they won't have any problem. However, I probably will throw in a box of these with the quilt when I give it to them. But just to show you, this is um, by Shout, a color catcher. There are other types, but this is the kind, and I'm going to show, give you information below on where you can get these. But you can get them in any grocery store. You can also order them online. Um, this is a new box because I used up my old box <laughs> on this project. But you simply open them up. It looks like a dryer sheet. It feels like it's just paper, a thick paper, uh, and you can see that it's white, but after I used it, of course, um, it did pull out those colors and turned a different color. This works in your regular laundry as well, uh, but for a quilter, keep these on hand and use them. You'll be surprised. Even if you have a quilt that doesn't look like any colors have run on it, you probably have some dye in that uh, laundry water. And this, this uh, color catcher, by throwing it in there, will show you exactly how much it pulled out. Uh, so again, I'm really excited to give this quilt to my friend. I am so, so grateful that these um, color catchers exist. When I first started quilting, there was no such thing. And if your quilt ran, there were all kinds of kind of home solutions that you would try to do, soak your quilt and try to get those colors to set. But once they started to run, you then you would have the problem of if you then tried to get those colors to set, they may set in the white colors 
as well. Uh, so thank goodness for these little miracle sheets of paper. They really are a miracle, and they sure saved me on this one. Uh, I think that the couple's going to like this quilt, and I can't wait to give it to them. Thanks for joining me. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can do so here by clicking the subscribe button. That way you'll find out about new videos as they become available. And um, she doesn't know that I'm doing this for I'm pretty sure she's not going to see this, but we're going to start again.